Welcome to Medlacto. Today we are going to discuss different proteins that are actually present in the viruses. So without wasting time, let's start. First protein is the protective protein that is also called the capsid. So this is the capsid. So if you see here, like this is the structure of the virus. In the center, you will see the genome. That can either be a DNA or RNA. Okay. And that genome is actually protected by the capsid. So if you see here, like this is the structure of the capsid. And that is actually made up of protein. So capsid actually protect the genome from the nucleases. That is enzyme that actually destroyed the genome. So this is the most important things. Nucleases. That is enzyme that destroyed the genome. Okay. Second is the attachment protein. Okay. If you see here, like this is the structure of the virus. Now this is the virus. Okay. We know that the virus requires some host for its replication. It does not replicate by itself. It requires some host. So if you see here, like this is the virus and here is the host cell. Host cell. Okay. So actually, first of all, the virus attached to the host cell. In that situation, you will see host cell has a receptor. So here is the basically the receptor that is actually present at the host cell and virus has some attachment protein. So that attachment protein will attach to the specific receptor. If the attachment shape of the attachment protein will match to the receptor, then you can say that the virus can attach to the host cell. Otherwise, virus cannot attach to any host cell. There is a specific host cell having receptor of or the specific attachment protein. This point is very much important. Okay. If I say like it is a good example. Okay. Next, if you see here, like again, this is the host cell, this is the virus. Now, this receptor, here is the receptor, is not actually matched to the attachment protein. The shape does not match. It cannot attach with each other. So, here is the protein. Now, protein, shape of the protein is not actually compatible with the receptor of the host cell. In that situation, that virus cannot attack to this host cell. So, that's why viruses attack a specific organism and specific organs of the body that have receptor for its attachment. So, this is actually the attachment protein. Next is the matrix protein. Matrix protein, actually, if you see here, like as we know that there are some viruses that have enveloped and there are some viruses that have no any envelope. Okay. If you see here, like this is the, like simple is the virus having the capsid. Okay. And here is the envelope. Envelope, okay. Envelope actually comes from the host, okay. The, there, is a, there is a protein that is actually the matrix protein that actually exists between the capsid and the envelope. Is actually is the matrix protein. Here is the matrix protein that is actually present between the envelope and the capsid. That actually performs a function and that function is the attachmental function. It actually attaches the envelope and the capsid. Now, this is simple is that it is the matrix protein. Next is the internal protein. Simply, there are different proteins that are actually present inside the uh, viruses. So, if you see here, like this is the cute face and this is actually the DNA polymerase that is actually present inside the viruses. And here, you, and you can see there is another cute face and smiling face and that is actually the RNA polymerase. Okay. These are basically the internal protein. Next is the tegumentos. It is actually a structure that contains different regulatory protein. So actually these 
proteins are actually present between the envelope, envelope and the capsid, capsid of the virus. So this point is very much important. So they are actually present in between the envelope and the capsid like the matrix protein. Okay. Pigments actually can have two important things. First you see like the transcription factor and second is the translation factor. Two factors that are actually involved as you know that these are the factors that is involved in the replications of the uh, messenger RNA and the protein, different protein. If I uh, say that the uh, viral protein in 16, this is actually the transcriptional, transcriptional factor. This transcription factor actually involved in the replication of the messenger RNA and protein and ultimately replications of the viruses. So this is actually the most important component. This is, uh, it's mean, it is more, one important function is the replication of the virus. And uh, it has other function like there are different pigments that are actually involved in the protection of the virus. Like uh, in the body, we, uh, if you see here, in our body, you will see the production of the interferon. Interferon actually produced in our body like the white blood cell. And that actually prevent the body from the infection that is caused by the different bacteria and the viruses. But the tegumets actually prevent the productions of the interferon in our body. And that's why the virus can easily replicate in our body by just the preventing the productions of the interferon in our body. Okay. Next is the antigen. Different proteins act as antigen for the viruses. So, if you see here, like first is that antigen that actually produce the antibodies. So, if you see here, first one is the antibody. Neutralizing antibodies production. If uh, there are some of, there are some proteins that are actually present on the surface of the viruses and that protein, protein induce the productions of the neutralizing antibodies. So, if you see here, like this is the virus and that virus having different antigen and that antigen produce the antibodies in our body and that antibodies produced in our body will attach or will cover these antigen surfaces. Now that virus is now become neutralized. Why? Because that virus now cannot attack to cell, host cell. So ultimately, it will destroy by the microphages. So this is actually the neutralizing antibodies that actually mask the antigen that is actually present on the surface of the viruses. Next is the cytotoxic, cytotoxic T cell that is actually the CD8 positive cells. They digest or destroy the cell that is infected by the viruses. So this is the important function of the cytotoxic T cell. One most important mechanism is it actually, if I say that this is the cell and that is infected by the viruses. And cytotoxic T cell actually makes hole in that cell and you will see that cell will destroy, ultimately destruction of the, this cell infected cell will occur. So this is actually the how cytotoxic T cell destroy the different cell that is infected by the viruses. Most important is the serotype. What is serotype? Serotype is actually the different forms of the antigen. If I say like if I have three glass, if you see here like three glass and these three glass having water in equal amount and in the first glass I add the sugar in the second glass I add the like uh, salt and in the third glass I add some juice 
So in that situation, all three glasses contain water, but there are some changes. First glass contain the salt, second glass contain the sugar, third glass contain the some juice. So it means they are different forms of one thing like water. Similarly, there are different forms of antigens and that different form is actually called the zero time. So if I say measles virus has one zero time. Okay. Polio virus has three zero types and rhino virus has over hundred zero types, different forms of deter determinant of antigen uh, of the rhino virus. Okay. But there are some viruses that have multiple serotypes. So if you see like human HIV, HIV, human immunodeficiency virus, hepatitis C virus and influenza, they have multiple, multiple serotypes of that viruses. That actually create problem. If I say, what type of problem do you face when a virus has different serotypes? First one, if I say, uh, like example of polio. This is the polio virus. Polio virus has three anti, di, three different forms of the antigen or you can say serotypes. If I make vaccine against the type 1 serotype of the polio virus, then can you say that the polio will never happen to that person? No. Polio can attack Polio virus can again attack. Why? Because type 2 and type 3 is still exist and that can cause the polio. Okay. Now, in that situation, if I repeat type 1. I make vaccine against the type 1 serotype of the polio virus. Okay. Now, other type 2 and type 3 can still cause the polio in that person. So, it means there is a solution. If you make vaccine against the polio, you should make the vaccine against all three types of this uh, serotype. So, I make the vaccine against type 1, type 2 and type 3 serotype. Otherwise, you again face the disease that is polio. Okay. This is the case 2. And there are some uh, multiple uh, viruses like different HIV, influenza and hepatitis C that continuously change the serotypes in like uh, if I say the influenza virus change serotypes in uh, one or two years. So it's, me it's mean that vaccine production, making vaccine against these viruses is very much difficult because it continuously change. So in that situation, uh, there is lot of difficulty in the productions of the virus against the against that viruses that actually have multiple serotypes and continuously changing the serotypes. So this is the actually the serotypes. Okay. Next is the super antigen. Super antigen. Like there are some uh, viruses that actually produce the super antigen like the cytomegalovirus. cytomegalovirus and if I say abstain bar virus. These virus produce the super antigen that are actually the proteins. That proteins actually activate the helper T cell or you can say CD4 positive cell. Okay. Now if I say they produce activate the CD4 positive and it is considered that the CD for positive T cell is very much important in the replication of these viruses. So this is actually the hypothesis. Okay. Uh, there is an important uh, thing that the super antigens actually bind to the major histocompatibility complex. Not at that site that normally different antigen attach. Okay. This is an important thing that just keep remember this thing. Super antigen activate the CD for positive T cell and that help in the replications of the these viruses like the cytomegalovirus and the abstain virus. 
So this is all about the different proteins that are actually present in the viruses. If you have any question, you may ask in the comment section. Thank you so much.